So when we're talking about equal to, we use our equal sign, and we're talking about length here. And when we say we're congruent to, we use our congruency sign, and we're talking about the shape. This brings us to example three. I want you to draw two pairs of congruent segments. Do not make all, fair, all four segments congruent. I want you to try to think about this for a moment, figure out how you can show that the different congruencies between the two different pairs. So pause the video and then resume when you're ready to see the solution. All right, I'll make segment AB here and I'll give it the same length as EF over here. I'll use a single dash mark to show that those are congruent. I'll then draw the longer segment, JK, and another long segment, we'll say this is YZ. Now I don't want to show that JK is equal to AB, so I'm going to use two dashes. And I'll do the same thing for ZY to show that those are congruent. Thus I see that AB is congruent to EF, and JK is congruent to YZ. This also means that the length of AB is equal to the length of EF and that the length of JK is equal to the length of ZY. Again, notice the difference in notations. It's something really important to get down early on. In the next video will be section 1.3.